bruh. It takes away your grip. So the ball slips out of your hands. You really gotta be able to control the ball. There is no room for air when you dribble this way. I like them a lot. You know, I think the added weight really helps. To get your pair of garden gloves, visit Press Cap Lock on YouTube and Instagram. What the hell? Bruh. You guys are, you guys suck. Okay, so new footage has came out of Markov Falls shooting foul shots, and man, it's broken. Jesus. Bruh. Yo, I don't understand what's going on. I really don't. I don't think a situation like this has ever happened in the history of the NBA. A no one pick in a strong draft class. This draft class was so strong, and he was a no one pick. How can you go shooting from this? To this. The Bucks. I mean, there's a hitch in his shot right now, but I know people are saying that he had a shoulder injury, but I don't even know anymore. One day he's shooting normally, the next day he's shooting with a hitch. It's all mental. Like, I think it, it has to be mental. I think it has to be in his head, because one day he's shooting normally, the next day there's a hitch in his shot. Like, I don't understand what's going through his mind right now. I mean, the Sixers held out Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid the whole year. I'm sure they're cautious with faults, but yeah. Here's footage of him shooting before the draft. And it looks pretty good. One of the reasons why the Sixers drafted him was because he could actually shoot. That's why people at the time were saying that the Sixers should draft Malik Monk. Because before they got JJ Redick, no one on the Sixers could actually shoot the ball. And they needed floor spacing for Ben Simmons and Dual Embiid. Another thing no one mentions is that the Celtics robbed the Sixers. But yeah, man, the Celtics robbed the Sixers. I don't know if you guys seen this footage before, but before the Celtics traded away to pick, Celtic fans were burning Markel's Fultz jersey. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Even before Markel Fultz played a single game in the NBA, fans were already burning his Celtics jersey. In Sixers with Jason Tatum, Dennis Smith, Donovan Mitchell, any of those guys, and including a top 5 pick in this year's draft as well. Yo, Sixers would have had a crazy future if it traded away Fultz. I'm not saying he's a bust as of right now, but that jump shot's making me nervous. So this is probably one of the craziest situations I've ever seen from no one pick. So let me know, do you guys think this is all in his head, all mental, or is it actually an injury that he actually has? So I'm going to be reading all the comments from this video and replying to a bunch of them. So let me know what you guys think below. And oh yeah, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Because if you don't turn on the bell notification, you won't get any more updates from my channel in the future. You get nothing! And if you guys want to follow me on IG, Twitter, or even Facebook, I'll leave a link below in the description. And I'm out guys. Peace!